Hello, my friends. I have a question for you today. It's an opinion poll video. What do you think as a PMP when you hear people saying they got certified in one week, two weeks, some few days? How does that make you feel? Does it make you feel any way? I'd like to know. Why don't you share with me? Over the past number of weeks and months, with the new exam especially, we've heard a number of students share that they didn't really spend that much time preparing for the exam, and yet they got fantastic results. I'm wondering if that makes you feel motivated, demotivated, happy, upset, neither here nor there. I'm curious to know, and I would really love for you to share your opinion. If you are a PMP, what do you think? What are your feelings about this? What are your musings about this? What does it make you feel? Now, very recently, we got a report regarding the number of PMPs in the world, and I'm going to be sharing this report with you. But what is amazing is the number of PMPs reported in the last month. If you take a look at these numbers, they are mind-blowing. A massive spike in the number of PMPs. Remember in the previous month, I shared with you how many PMPs had dropped off the wagon. There were 10,000 less. Well, take a look at these results for this month. So let's examine the numbers we have on the screen. The numbers that we had the last time I presented this to you in June of 2021 shows the total membership and that membership has grown. The number of countries or territories where we have this PMI membership presence, chapter presence, it has grown by six from 213 to 219. Now, when you come down to these certifications, going straight to the PMP, we can see the PMP certification grew from 101,141,000 to 1,230,000. Now, those of you numbers people, if you bring out your calculators, and do a quick subtraction, what you're gonna find is rather astonishing. If you do the subtraction of 1,230,612 minus 1,141,147, it gives you a mind-blowing number. And just so you know the implication of this, we are seeing 89,465 PMPs in the space of a month? How on earth do you explain that? I would like someone who is on the inside and knows how these numbers are presented to comment on that because nothing in this makes any sense. You take a look at the membership, it's grown by a thousand. You take a look at the number of PMPs and it's grown by 89,000. What are they doing? Churning out certificates like it's a mill? Seriously, how does this make you feel as a PMP? I'm curious to know if we're getting 90,000 new PMPs within the space of a month compared to back in the fifth edition when I, I kept a really firm grasp on how many were getting certified and the number fluctuated but was in the neighborhood of 4,000 and then we would see a spike when there was a new edition and it would go up to about 8,000 in the heights of the edition changing in the last month of the previous edition exam being available. But 90,000 in a month? When we just saw a 10,000 drop, how do you explain this? What 
is going on. And if you take a look at the other certifications, which have been pretty popular in the past, you take a look at the PMI ACP. The PMI ACP, we see also quite a significant jump of 3,000. And I can understand that people are getting certified and are wanting to learn more about Agile and they get Agile hungry and they get really excited. So we can see, we can understand, okay, an increase of 3,000 for a very popular certification such as the ACP is understandable. But how do you reconcile jumping from 1 million 141,000 to 1,230,000. I want to call PMI out on this to provide some explanations about this crazy number increase. Either their numbers in previous months were skewed and were totally off, or this is becoming a free for all. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Everyone and their grandma, the good, the bad, and the ugly, passing the exam. Everyone under the sun is saying three ATs. You barely hear about targets anymore. Everyone can't pass an exam. It's unfair to have people who have dedicated so much time and effort to perfecting the content, to have people that are nowhere near their caliber also being put on the same level. So, I want to know what your opinion is about this. What do you think? I've had a number of people share opinions, but I'm not going to share those opinions here. <laughs> I want you to share what you think about these numbers. Moving a step further and taking a look at the RMP, that has grown by exactly 100. Taking a look at the new discipline agile certification, we can see that has grown by about 50. Those numbers are not crazy, okay? Those numbers are acceptable. Taking a look at the PGMP, there's a huge jump as well. PGMP, we've seen almost 100 new PGMPs in the space of a month, seriously. Is this a lagging indicator PMI? Because we numbers people, they're not, they're not going to get this. Also, take a look at the cap M. We can see the cap M here, a jump of almost 500. That is crazy. That is crazy. The other discipline agile certification, Scrum Master One, grown by 300. So I'm not sure how these numbers are derived and how they are presented, but 89,000 people being PMPs in a month, I want to question that. Drop me some comments below. Talk to you soon.